Hey guys, this is Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add deck stairs and deck rails to your deck sketching in Xactimate. Let's start off by going up here to the deck and drop a deck on here. We've got us a 10 by 10. That's good. Let's do something where we'll throw a corner staircase on here. So in order to do that, I'm going to make this corner cut off. So I'm going to go into the vertex tool. And let me see, I'll make that 7, 8. I'll left click here. I'm going to drag this corner down and grab the handle and just drag it down until it's at that angle. So that's perfect. All right, now what I'm going to do is grab the staircase tool. And we want to drop this down to custom for this. And what I'll do is I clicked on that and I'm going to hit the tab key and make that so it lines up with that. So I'll pull it away from this, and I'm going to left click and drag this down. Let's make it about a five foot long. There we go. Now I'll left click there. Now I'm just going to hit escape. That way it'll finish that up. Now I'm going to put this in 3D mode. You can do that by going down to the 3D button or the push the 3 key. I'll push the 3 key. And you can see this is an indoor staircase. We don't want that. What we're looking for is deck stairs. So what I want to do, first I'm going to take this header off so that when it comes up to here, it's not going to have a wall. So I'm just going to highlight that, left clicking it, and then hit the delete key. Now that's gone. Let me show you again on a three, all gone. Next I'm going to take both of these left and right. So I'm going to click that left and then control click on the other side and go into the properties. And what we'll do is we'll come to the wall type. The wall type in this case we'll just do missing end to end. And you notice it changed. So what we'll do now is take a look at that. Hit the three key. Yeah, see, nice deck rails perfect so I'll hit escape again next thing we want to do um, actually let's let's do this let's make this a flared staircase at the bottom so what we'll do is we'll grab a hold of this handle and we'll just drag it down that was a left click and a drag I'll do the same to the other side and we'll make this a flared staircase so that's kind of nice now what we can do is when we pull this over here it'll click right in place now I'm gonna click 3 for 3d oh almost right isn't it we need this at the same height. So let's go in just to see how high this is. So we're going into properties and it says the total rise is three foot nine inches. So let's bring this deck up to there. So I'll click there, go into properties, and we'll say the floor height at three foot nine inches. Enter. Take another quick look in 3D mode. Man, that looks good. Okay, perfect. Now let's let's pull this off and do something a little more fancy just for grins. So what we'll do is we'll go click on the left and the right again and I'm going to go into properties and let's make this an arc wall so we'll just change this arc wall to yes and what that allows us to do is come in into here and we'll uh, left click on this handle and we'll just bring it down about six inches and we'll do that on both sides bring it in about six inches Boom. there you go that's pretty now we'll just take it we'll move it right back in Click it in place. There we go. 3D mode shows it's nice. They only do the uh, the shadowing thing here happens when you make those curved walls. Otherwise, that doesn't show up. Um, let's do one last thing. Let's add deck rails to the deck itself. So what we can do here is go into the properties. I click on the deck, go into properties, and we'll come down to deck. And there's the railing. So if I want to add rails, I just go down to framed rails. Now it's in. Now what you notice down here is it's taken and put all the wood needed to, to actually create those. So if you don't want the rails added to your sketch, I mean to your claim, you definitely want to delete those out of there. Um, but for now, just so we can see, beautiful. Got the deck rails on both the stairs and that. And let's go exit out of that. I hit escape. And let's say, uh, for instance, Odds are one of these walls are going to be up against the house. So what we can do is we could take, say, this one, and we'll use a missing wall. There's many ways to do this, but this is the easiest. Click that. Now we got a missing wall. I hit the three. Beautiful. There we go. All right. Well, that is it. Uh, that was very simple. Hope that helps. If you found this content useful, I hope you'll take a second to like and subscribe to this channel and you can also check out more videos like this one at our website adjusterpedia.com where we try to bring you fresh and relevant content each week as well as show you how to get started as an insurance adjuster.